and it said the devil's coming. Very clear. <laughs> Are you alright? Are you catching this? Oh. oh my god, it's in the fucking fire Thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt tonight. Joe and I are staying over. We're spending the entire night inside one of the most notoriously haunted places in the United Kingdom, the Ancient Ram Inn. This place has so many ghost stories and even a few resident demons, so stay tuned. Established back in the year 1145, the Ancient Ram Inn has gained notoriety for its dark history, ghost stories and demonic residents. Many fear this building and some boldly claim it to be one of the most haunted places in England and even the world. Between its history of satanic rituals, demonic attacks and sitting atop ley lines, an alleged portal and a 5,000 year old pagan burial ground where human sacrifices occurred, the inn has plenty of reasons to be haunted. Tonight I will return to the ancient Ram Inn after four years this time with Jared and the entire place to ourselves. And what we will uncover and experience here will both terrify us and open us up to an entirely different way of thinking about the paranormal. Dude, birds. <laughs> Literally, the birds here, they are nuts. We are getting started now though, and it may look pretty bright out here. It's almost 10 p.m. here in the UK. It gets dark super late at this time of the year, but things are happening inside. So I thought, you know what? Let's just get started. We've got the entire night here, so we've got a lot of work to do. We've already had a couple of experiences inside. Let's just get going. Before we head in, I do want to reiterate just how haunted this place is. They say there's a couple of underground wells here, and so there's a constant water source. Some people say it has even opened a portal right beneath the ancient Ram Inn. But not only that, it actually sits on top of two intersecting ley lines, and one of those ley lines also passes through Stonehenge. And we all know that's a mysterious source of spiritual power, so people believe it's bought activity here. And there's a 5,000 year old ancient pagan burial ground right beneath the building too. This is pretty much the official entry to the Ram Inn but that's not the first thing I want to talk about because earlier today something happened to Jared regarding this door. Amy was upstairs grabbing something. I was down here waiting for her. We we're about to go get dinner and I was just sitting here looking at all the different paranormal you know business cards that people have left here and this door behind me just closed and it's weird because it was already closed. It just it sort of like did this noise. So you ready? This noise. It did that, even though the door was already closed. So I wasn't looking at it. I was facing this way. But yeah, that happened and I just turned around and was like, what? We've left that door ajar since. And that was when we first got here about what, 4.30 p.m. And now it's almost 10 p.m. And that has not happened since. I don't think it would be a draft or anything either. It's kind of weird. It's also a very heavy door. Did it ski? It made me jump, yeah, because I was just sitting here reading these cards. So like, sorry, standing here reading these cards. So yeah, it wasn't expected. It just happened. Oh, this door's really heavy too. Does this bring back memories or what? So many memories here. I just see like clicking over here. This is not the first time I've been to the Ancient Ram Inn. I came a couple of years ago in say 2018, right at the very start of my channel. So I'm gonna link the video below if you're interested to see what my videos were like when I was first starting out. I feel like I've improved and come a long way, not just with video production, but also as an investigator and even as a person. And back then I actually came on a public tour and the company that I went through, Haunted Happenings, allowed me to film. So they were very nice to me and it was a really cool experience. And so I'm just back here now and just going through the motions of just 
how incredible it is to be back and to know that I've got you guys behind me supporting me that have just allowed me to actually come back and do this again and in, in my own way I feel like it's almost like doing it the right way if that makes sense so it's just Jared and I here tonight we have the whole building to ourselves overnight so it's gonna be cool so any noises here tonight we're the only two people here so to be a much more compelling. Also, back then, we both couldn't afford to come on the tour. So I came by myself and Jared had a night off. And so I just filmed the whole thing selfie mode just by myself. So it's kind of cool for Jared to come back. <laughs> yeah, I kind of missed out last time. But they were nice enough to let me duck my head in at the beginning of the tour and then I left. I have had an experience in this room already tonight. And I've tried to debunk it and I can't. I don't know what it was. Me and Jared were just sitting here on this couch. And I glanced over to this side of the room where this little lamp is and I saw a shadow as if somebody just walked past and cast a shadow along this, this wall here. It was not Jared or I. We were both sitting and neither of us were moving. Jared didn't see it, only I saw it. Shadow walked towards that wall, just into that corner. The window over here was open at the time, so there was light coming in, but there was nobody out there or nothing that could have walked past the window to cast a shadow. I say that dense, plus this is a locked off area. We've got a closed locked gate, so there's not anyone out there. I don't know what that was, but it was kind of scary. Also, I want to show you guys the cat. I know this is kind of sad and weird. This cat was actually found mummified in the walls here it predates the building and this is something that they used to do to prevent bad spirits from coming into buildings back in the day but i guess it didn't really work <laughs> oh, i totally forgot to have ghost tube rolling so i've just switched it on <laughs> soon what did you say soon what soon you know what i have a really sick feeling that that response of soon goes with what you got through Ghost Tube Fox here just, just before. I had a really weird feeling about this investigation and thought this response could be in relation to something Jared had documented earlier that evening. During this time, Jared was filming a Vox session for his Ghost Tube TikTok account. I was sitting here and I was asking a whole bunch of questions like, you know, can you tell me your name, who's here, that sort of thing. And it said, the devil's coming, very clear. Hey guys, coming at you from the ancient room in one of the most haunted places in the United Kingdom. Is there anyone here that wants to communicate with me tonight? Devil's coming. Did I just say the devil's got it? Should I be worried? I think that just said the devil's coming. What did you guys hear? Leave a comment. Devil's coming. Devil's coming. It is strange to reflect on that response and how I was feeling about it in this moment, as later in the night, we would have an encounter that was particularly dark in nature, with something that I believe followed us away from this location. I just find that weird that it says the devil's coming. Obviously, like, this building has a lot of history with demons, dark, satanic worship, all that kind of stuff. But as soon as we walk into the same area, it says soon. The devil's coming soon that's on two different tools as well at the time i was actually pretty creeped out i didn't know how to react i was sort of like um should i be worried like i don't i don't know uh, also this is the area where a lot of bodies are buried so they always thought that the ancient ram inn was built on an ancient pagan burial ground and then they dug up part of the ground and they actually found human skeletons down there the grave is right here right next to us oh shit. i'm sort of step standing on it whoops there You're you probably go. standing on bodies anywhere in here. They're what? everywhere. I thought this was it. So they believe this whole area was a burial ground, so there very well could be more bodies all throughout this, this ground. But this was where they started digging. They found, I think it was a child and a woman who they believe was actually human sacrifice because they found the dagger that supposedly killed them with the skeletons. They stopped digging up the floor because they thought it might be disrespectful to just disturb the rest of the bodies, you know what I'm saying? Um, ah! that's moving again. This freaking bird though, I hate it. This makes me feel sick. If anyone watching doesn't know, I have a, a bird phobia. When we came in earlier today, the bird was just spinning. I do not know why this is moving and we just walked in and that is very highly disturbing for me doing it just then and now look it's not doing it anymore could just be you know us walking around in here and opening the door i forgot it was there and then when you mentioned it it was looking right at me and i just i just can't 
It makes me feel, it makes me feel sick. Like, really sick. <laughs> Ram's heads always freak me out. This area here, last time I visited, obviously I was with a large public group, so sometimes you need to take things with a grain of salt when you're in an investigation and there's others around who could contaminate evidence. But I was standing in here, it was just me and the guide in this room at that particular time, and the door that we just came through to the other room, that didn't open. Church. <gasps> Don't just say church? Yeah, that is relevant. Let me tell you why that's relevant. I actually think that these, these wooden things that we're from, like standing in, are from an old church from the 1500s. Like pews or something like that. Yeah. Plus the people who, the, the church actually used to own the inn. They were the original owners and they housed their slaves here while they built a church. And there's supposedly a tunnel underneath the inn that leads up to that church. But literally last time I was here, the person I was standing with, we both heard a door open and then we heard someone walk into the room with us, like the footsteps, and we felt the presence. It felt as if someone had just entered the room. But what's so weird was nobody from that room had come out and no light ever spilled in into this room. It was literally like a door that didn't exist opened. We just heard it and then heard and felt someone walk into the room. So in my original video, I showed a small clip of me asking, you know, someone to walk up to the REM pod and light it up because we had literally just heard someone walk in. It was so creepy. I keep looking over to that bird and you know what? It's got me thinking that maybe there was some foreshadowing with this bird earlier today because when we went out, we were getting some photos and exterior shots of the building. And as soon as we went out there, this huge flock, I don't know if they're called a flock or a murder, is it? A murder of crows was flying overhead right above us and just circling the inn right before we got started. It was the creepiest freaking thing. Yeah, there was a lot of them. Whoa, this is like the barn? Wow. Why is there chairs on the roof? Kind of looks like some po weird poltergeist kind of going on. <laughs> so this is a barn. It was built on a bit later, so sort of 1800s. And activity has occurred in here as well. People have been sort of picked up and thrown here, but also women sort of get groped by an entity in here. And there's another entity that is super, super tall. I'm talking like seven feet tall, very dark. Kind of hangs around the doorway over here. A lot of people have seen this shadow entity, but it's also... Uh, known to be a little bit aggressive towards men in particular, men who seem to threaten it and it can kind of like push them away and push them out of this space. Last time I was here, uh, a random guy who was just on the tour said that he was seeing shadows pass through this area just outside of the barn door. Ooh, we've got a scrying mirror here, Ames. There are so many scrying mirrors, Jared. They are everywhere. <laughs> Stairs. Oh, these are the steepest stairs too. Oh, one of the more frightening things of this house is, yeah, the thought of falling down them because it's pretty steep. <laughs> so just here, where I'm sort of standing, people have sighted apparitions and there's even a photo downstairs of, it looks as though it's a very dense, thick, white mist just manifesting right here. I don't know whether that is actually legitimately paranormal or possibly, you know, like a photo development error, but it's just super weird looking. Like, and these stairs, they're just iconic with the cross just there as well. The detail in this place. Ooh. This happened. <laughs> um, yeah, my bad. I just felt something touch my head, which was these bells. Doll. Doll. Okay, doll. doll. Is there a doll? Is there a doll in here? There is a lot of dolls in here. <gasps> On the bed? Yeah, well, kids are said to haunt here. Anyway, I accidentally, these touched me. I freaked out and then stumbled onto this table. Doll. I'm sorry, I didn't bring a doll with you to play with. But I know that you've got um, some teddies here. Don't leave. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. I was about to because I was going to go get a doll. I'm just getting a doll. I'll be right back. I'll stay with you. Creepiest doll ever. I've got a doll. It's a little creepy looking, but <laughs> there you are. 
There you go. I hope you like that doll. Let us know if you do. Just go up to those lights on the table. Maybe you can tell us. It's weird because I know this room is notorious for the woman that was trying to hide here from her execution, but isn't this the room where they say kids hang out as well? Yes, yeah, so it's named the witch's room, although I, I apologise, I know that you don't like that term. Essentially, the story goes that a woman hid out here because she was wanted for witchcraft. Eventually, she was found and burned at the stake. But they do say that at least two children haunt this room. They're rumoured to have been murdered here. And there is a black cat that haunts this room. So my name is Amy and I'm here tonight with Jared. I don't know if you would remember me. I was here a few years ago. I always really loved this place and I always wanted to come back. If you are here, we'd love to hear from you tonight. This is the room though, Jared, where I had an EDI set up and that measures environmental things around it. And one of them is temperature. And all of a sudden, like I was just hanging out in here talking, the temperature gauge flicked to 666. So 66.6 .6 degrees Fahrenheit. And it was weird because I had two of these EDIs. One was on the floor, which was much warmer than the one up on the table that flicked to 666. So you'd think the one on the floor would be colder, right? Well, yeah, because warm air rises. That was weird, actually. I remember that, seeing that in your video. And it was probably coincidental, that all happening. But I do remember just after it said 666, there was all scratching noises from the back of the room, like something was just scratching at the walls. It was kind of weird, freaked me out a bit. Are any of these portraits like original, do you know, or to do with the story? There is a picture of an older lady in this corner here, but I always felt like she was put in here to represent because people have seen her at this window here. And she has been photographed from people who are just passing by people outside. And she does look like a, an older woman sort of just gazing out this window here. Ooh, I get Stranger Things vibes from this clock. Vecna? Yes. <laughs> I love this area as well though because there's so many newspaper clippings up here on the wall all about how haunted this place is. Now guys, this is probably the creepiest room. They say it's the most haunted. It is known as the Bishop's Room. We're coming in. Get any vibes? I came in this room earlier today when we were going around taking photos and I actually didn't get any vibes in this room. I know it's the most haunted. Having said that though, I didn't spend that much time in here. So last time I was in here and just in this corner here, this sort of massive cupboard, this dresser, there were a lot of knocks. How? How? Yeah, how were you knocking on this? There were a lot, it was just like someone was in the corner knocking. Can you knock on a wall for us right now? Any noise, please? Drip? Drip. That's what it says, drip. Drip. I don't know what, what that could be. Relevant with. Maybe it's like saying you're a drip. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jared. <laughs> anyway, like last time I was here, I came up and spent some time in here alone, did a spirit box, and one of the weirdest things that came through, or at least I felt like that's what it said in the moment, it said, kiss me. <laughs> And okay, this could or it could not be relevant, uh, but there are said to be a succubus and an incubus that haunt this place. Now, if you don't know what they are, it's basically like the male version and the female version of sex demons that come and do bad things to you. They're said to, to prowl here at the ancient Ram Inn. That's like one of the most prevalent demonic sort of stories about this place. And I was like, kiss me is kind of weird, but if you're like a sex demon, do you do that? Do you even kiss? <laughs> yeah, so the demon seduces you first, wines and dines. It's got class. They also say satanic worship or rituals happened in here, and the reason they believe that is John Humphreys, the previous owner, found up in the, up here in the fireplace somewhere a very sort of tiny um, hoof. Not a hoof, but um, horseshoe sort of shaped thing. What are they called? Horseshoe. <laughs> Anyway, they found one of them and I don't know, the story is that that goes with, along with the satanic worship. So that's one of the um, 
the stories of this room. We did not know this at the time, but this would become one of the scariest and most active parts of the ancient room in during our stay there. I would also later discover something within this fireplace that signified more recent rituals may have been conducted in this space. Ugh, someone left a message. I'm gonna assume that that's a cheeky paranormal investigator that's left that there, rather than demonic demon. So just down in this area is the toilet. And you guys know this always happens to me. I don't know why. I have <laughs> experiences in or around the toilets, the bathrooms in these places that I visit. And I did go to the toilet earlier today. So I come upstairs by myself. Jared was downstairs sort of in that uh, first room that we were in, right? And I was on the toilet and I could hear someone up here. And it was if... I assumed Jared had come up, right? That's the most logical thing for me. I could hear somebody walking around sort of humming a tune and I don't know what the tune was, but it was just muffled. And I thought, oh, Jared's come upstairs. So when I came out of the bathroom out here, I walked up to this area. I stopped here and I said, Jared, waited, no response. And I was like, this motherfucker's up here and he's hiding somewhere, he's gonna scare me. So I walked back towards the stairs so slowly just stopping at every doorway, kind of like, Jared. It wasn't Jared. <laughs> he was downstairs the whole time, not making any noise. I could hear someone walking around up here humming, like a mumbled humming. So I have no idea how to explain that to you. We do have Jesus. I feel like I'm gonna fall through the floor. <laughs> okay, we do have one more room to show you all though. So I'm gonna send Jared up first. Ah, oh, you Shit. Ah, f really banged my head. Oh no. Ah, supposed to be careful walking up the stairs. Yeah, well, you're supposed to tell me that beforehand. <laughs> you okay? It really hurts. <laughs> How is that for a bedroom? Now, you reckon this is a creepy bedroom? This was actually the daughter's bedroom. Yeah, this is definitely one of the more creepy rooms. I think. They do say activity occurs in here, and they do say that in the 1500s a young girl was murdered up here, so she was allegedly an innkeeper's daughter. Kind of weird to think years later, in more modern times, when somebody buys this building, moves in, they put their daughter up here as, as their bedroom. But yeah, they do have activity, particularly in, in the other room, which I think is weirder vibes than just this room here. Got mirrors coming out the wazoo in this place. Ah, uh, ooh, yeah, I like this. Looks creepy with the table in the middle here. People have seen things up here. Shadow figures are super common, apparently. Is there anyone up here that wants to join us at the table and have a chat? Can you make a noise for us? Before continuing our investigation, we set up a Ghost Tube SLS camera downstairs to monitor the area where the grave from a pagan burial site is located. We then decided to focus our efforts on the witch's room, as we had some very compelling Ghost Tube responses come through there earlier, and as soon as we hit record on our camera, we would document some really cool activity with a cat ball seeming to move on its own. Are you filming? Yeah. That cat ball's just moving. Yeah, I heard it. Are you filming it? Yeah. It was just like... It was just rattling. You could hear it? Could uh -huh. you see it? it? I mean, it was pointed and now it's going off. That was rattling. Okay. Like rattling. I thought it was running water at first and I was looking around and then I realized it was the cat ball. The cat ball was ra like rattling. That was really, really weird. Look, it's not doing it now. It's doing it again. Are you catching this? Yeah. Can you push that ball off the table for us? I've never seen this before. Well, I'm going to sit down so everyone knows that I'm like sitting. Hello, you know what I'm saying? can I just show you as well? If I shake like this, it's not doing it. Dude, I just stomped my foot as well and it did not do it. That is so weird. I'm going to sit down. So everyone knows I'm sitting. It's doing it again. Are you catching this? 
Yeah. Are you catching this? Yeah. Alright guys, so we've just set up in the witch's room. The strangest thing happened <gasps> while we were setting up these. So we've got a cap, couple of cat balls here. There conveniently is this weird Ouija board table mat here. So we've just put a cat ball on yes and no. We've got the doll here before. The cat ball's just going off, but before it was actually shaking. And like, if I go like this, it's not doing it. I thought it was running water at first. It sounds like running water, but it's that thing like shaking. Yeah. I've never seen that before. It's That's the, the weirdest plastic. thing. Oh, it loves this cat ball. If, if there's somebody here and you're playing with us, thank you so much. I would love if you could just get that ball and just throw it off the table. Oh, don't make it do that. No. Throw it at this guy. It said no. So we've got two of these little motion sensors that you're playing with here, one on no, one on yes. So on the left, yes, on the right, no. Can you tell us, are you male or female? Sorry, damn, that's not a yes, no question. Can you tell me, are you female? Are you male? I also put a cat ball with the doll because it said doll earlier. And then over the other side of the room, I actually have on the dresser with the mirror, I have a REM pod and another cat ball set up over there. So. <gasps> no. So if someone wants to play, we have a lot of these light up balls everywhere. Feel free to go up, push them. Or maybe the funnest one, I think, is the red light on the dresser. You walk up to that, that will make it a real party. I'm getting very cold all in front of me. Like oh. just here. I feel okay, but... Just here feels very, very freaking cold. Given that we had already documented some very strange things in the witch's room, we decided to switch things up and run Ghost Tube Vox to see if we could actually talk to the spirits of the inn. My name is Jared and this um, lady to my right is Amy. Can you come through and tell us who we're speaking with and who's moving these balls on the table here? Who what? I just heard something out here. There. Mm -hmm. Although the noise I heard that came from outside of this room does not register on the cameras we had rolling with us, it was picked up by the ghost tube SLS camera, which was rolling downstairs. Is there someone out there? Can you come into the room with us? <laughs> Calm down. Wow, that was like someone freaking out. Or they're saying, come down? Maybe they're telling us to go downstairs. Who is it that we're talking to? My name. My name is? Yeah, what's your name? Can you tell us? Earlier tonight, somebody said that the devil was coming. When is that going to happen? What is this? Can you tell us about the children that are said to be in this place? Do you like that we brought the doll in here? What do you think of the doll? <gasps> no. If there's a lady up here in this room, why have you stayed here at the Ancient Ram Inn? No, no, no? no? Like someone pleading? That sounds like, yeah, like someone pleading for help almost. Can we do something to help you? Play. Play? I agree. I agree. God bless. Did you just hear God bless? Are you looking out for us? Are you trying to protect us? No. <laughs> 
Should we be worried being in this place? You heard that? Something got hit, like someone just hit something. I thought I just said, what's you feeling? I thought I said, what do you fear? Answer them both. Birds. <laughs> Birds and it's cold. Yeah. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Oh my God. That Dude. is so weird. Because I've got the devil's coming the devil's earlier. devil's coming. He's coming. He's coming, yeah. What time can we expect him so we can go put the kettle on? It's weird. You... It's weird that you say that. It's probably weird that I say that. <laughs> what time is it going to happen? What room would you like us to go to? Where do you want us to go? He's saying stop. He's saying stop. He's saying stop. All right, couple of things. We probably won't stop. <laughs> We've come a long way to talk to you. Um, and who is he? Sound like someone was trying to answer him. He's... Yeah. Okay, one at a time, please. One at a time. Who is he? This is just scary. Like the noises that are coming through here don't even sound like human talking. Who's your friend? Who's your friend? This guy's Jared, my name's Amy. I just had a tap from behind the camera. Yeah. Why am I getting so cold right now? Literally so cold. My hair's uh, pointing up. Despite capturing the cat ball rattling, weird noises and some creepy responses for a ghost to box, we always want more. I now reflect on what Jared is about to say here and see how it might have been seen as a challenge to the spirits of the ancient Ram Inn and something he would even come to regret. Can you scare me? Do something to scare me. Guess who? Guess who? Tell me who. I am. Hello, Chris. Oh, just said hello. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we have been asking it to. Who is this? Come on, you gotta scare Jared. It's gonna take more than a hello to scare me. <laughs> Can you tell us where you're hiding? It's like a gasping. Mm. Can you tell us what you were doing here? I've heard that there is a black cat that a lot of people have seen in here. What's the black cat's name? Amelia. Amelia. No, no, no. I heard familiar. Is the cat the, the witch's familiar? To me, the direct answer of familiar right after asking about the ghostly black cat that has been sighted in the witch's room is very compelling. This is because a familiar or familiar spirit is described in Western demonology as being a small animal or imp kept as a witch's assistant and usually gifted to them by the devil. The familiar would be a low-ranking demon who would assume the shape of an animal, especially that of a black cat. I do want to note here, however, I do not believe black cats to be bad or evil in nature. I simply find this response interesting when this piece of folklore is considered. Okay, I'm getting the feeling there's more than one person trying to talk to us. How many of you are in the room right now?
Wanting to continue our investigation, we moved over to the bishop's room where some of the darker forces of the ancient Ram Inn dwell. Just as we were getting ready, Jared had a very strange experience, which was just the beginning of all the scary events that would follow in this room. <laughs> okay, this is going to sound really weird. I just went to the, the restroom, and as I was walking out of the restroom back into this room, I felt like a warmth go down my leg as if I was pissing myself. <laughs> but I wasn't, but it felt like warmth running down my leg. It was really... That's the best I can describe it. That's the best I can describe it. No, I haven't peed myself, but it just what it felt like. No, I haven't peed myself. We brushed off this incident as being a bit strange and set up to perform an Estes method in the bishop's room, with Jared wearing noise cancelling headphones and listening to a spirit box while reciting anything he heard come through, while I asked questions which he was unable to hear. At this time, we didn't think much of it, but pairing this incident with everything else that happened in this room, I now believe that something dark was messing with us, and I'm a lot more open to the tales of a succubus that is said to haunt the ancient Ram Inn. Alright, Jared is under, so I might actually go night vision too. Him. Uh, tonight. Ew. What, what's going to happen tonight? To this guy? Or is him someone else? Um, remind me to tell you about something here. Oh god, okay. Bedroom. Whose bedroom are we in? He is. He is in the bedroom? So I'm in the bishop's room, is that correct? Here. You're here with me? Were there rituals that went on here? What were they like? It's definite. Okay, there's definite rituals that went on here. What were they for? Do you remember me? Seven. Seven. What does seven mean? Is that how many of you are here? What do you think of the guy that's on the bed over there? He's fast. Fast? Fast at what? Patience. We've got a lot of patience. We'll wait. Oh, I'm just getting really cold, like... In my brain, I keep seeing a shadow here. Okay, I was just gonna say it felt like something sort of passed me, like... Next. Really, really cold. Next? What's next? What the fuck is that? March 7th. I swear I just heard footsteps out here. Like, not in the room. Oh my god. This entire sequence of events is very eerie. First I state that I had gotten cold chills as I felt as though someone had walked past me into the room. When Jared validates how I was feeling, saying that he could see someone in his mind's eye standing over him. Moments later I would record what sounds very much like footsteps in the next room over, which is something I felt as though I had heard earlier. What's his name? That guy's name is Jared, but can you tell me what March 7th means? And why am I so cold? I literally have the chills so bad. Leave. You, I'm sorry, but you have to be a little bit more... Go away. ...more specific. You want me to leave? You want him to leave? You want us both to leave? Thought I felt the bed shake then. Well, it's definitely not me. I'm not moving. Can you make this other bed shake? If you make that shake, I might know about it because there's a red light on there. If you go up to the red light, it'll beep. 17. What, what do the numbers mean? There are. 
Maybe that's how many are here. Um, I heard someone walking out there before. Who is it? Those eyes. My eyes? These eyes? Is it true that there's, you know, demons here? I just heard Skirred in. Skirred in? Well, we were there not too long ago. Is there some connection? Just felt vibrations again. That is very weird. What do you mean by Skirred in? I'm starting to feel a pressure here on my face. Why should I? I don't know. Why should you what? Are you pressing on my face? It's like, um, tight and on my cheek, at like my um, cheekbone. Uh, again, remind me to tell you what happened here. I wish you would just tell me. Okay, what are you doing to him? Did you do something to his leg before? Because he thought he was pissing his pants. I have heard there's a bishop here. I've heard there's monks here. I've heard you're not very nice. Do you have a comment about that? Bosom. Bosom. Lady Bosom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was literally going to ask Jared's bosom <laughs> my bosom. <laughs> also, what does bosom mean again? Um, Boobs. <laughs> Why are you saying funny words? Huh? Please. Please. <laughs> um, uh, okay, who's talking here? Can we know that? It's the same person who said kiss me years ago. I just thought something touched my leg then. Ugh. Pass. Pass? You just passed by? <gasps> okay. You're over there now? It's permanent. Are you leaving? What's permanent? Wait a second. Waiting. What am I waiting for? I just had a click over near there near Jared. Okay, like funny haha's aside. I just heard Mia. Yeah. yeah, I heard you over there. Oh my god, it's in the fucking fireplace. Touching me, and when you weren't touching me, I jumped up. <laughs> I thought something, a mouse or something, was something. Like, freaked out. No. <laughs> Did you touch the bed at all? No. <laughs> okay, hang on, calm down. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the? <laughs> it's all right. Come on, give me that. Come down. Calm down. <laughs> Hang on, I need to just sit for a sec. Hang on. Oh, fuck, I'm shaking. <laughs> Are you alright?
What is so funny? Oh, just everything's really funny and my shoulders really hurt. Has she been acting like this this whole time, guys? Oh my god. I freaked out just then because I thought you were going, you were like touching the bed, like up near my shoulders, like next to me. <laughs> and then as I went to like, as I moved, my headphones was to come off and I heard that you were like over here. And then I just freaked out. And then when you started screaming, I thought maybe you had seen a mouse or something. So I started ripping my clothes <laughs> off because I thought a mouse was running on me. <laughs> and it scared me to death. Okay, I, I, uh, I was hearing noises in the corner. Oh shit, my mic, hang on, my mic's just, I threw my mic off during that commotion. <laughs> that, Should was, we that was just too much. regroup our cameras? Because I want to tell you about some stuff that happened on that bed. Obviously a lot happened here. We tried to sit down, collect ourselves and fully explain what we experienced, but we were both pretty rattled, which is evident here by how much Jared was shaking. I'm still shaking now. My legs are shaking. Anyway, I felt the um, bed. Sorry, I'm still shaking. Hang on a sec. As we started the SD session, it ran normally until Jared mentioned that something had happened to him. Um, remind me to tell you about something here. Oh God, okay. Here, Jared said he felt as though the zipper on his jeans had moved on its own. He continued the session as he wasn't sure if it could have just been gravity moving the zipper until it happened again for a second time. Uh, again, remind me to tell you what happened here. At other points in the session, Jared also said he felt the bed shake. Another time he described a vibrating on the bed. And then something touched his leg. Thought I felt the bed shake then. Just felt vibrations again. I just thought something touched my leg then. In addition to this all, I was feeling a pressure on my face, had a capital trigger and felt cold chills come over my body. But to me, the freakiest thing was hearing footsteps in the next room over. This all seemed to pile up until the spirit started to produce some strange words that made both of us laugh. At a certain point, once I felt as though I had put my guard down, I tried to put the laughter behind me and then heard noises in the room, accompanied by Jared stating, I'm here. I did get a little startled when I realized the noises were coming from behind me in the fireplace, where the succubus is said to crawl out of. At this exact same time, Jared described feeling a pressure on the bed as though I was standing over him and waking him up from the SD session. So he removed his eye mask to see me still on the other side of the room. This is what triggered the panicked reaction. He jumped from the bed, hit me in the chest along with the camera I was holding, and started to take his clothes off, assuming something must have been crawling on him. After all of this, I began to hyperventilate and got close to the ground as I felt as though I might pass out. I'm not really sure where the laughing came from here, but it took me a long while to calm down. I'd never been a big believer in the succubus and incubus, but experiencing this changed everything for me. There's so many parallels that can be drawn here between this experience and those reported by John Humphreys, the former owner of the Ancient Ram Inn. The feeling of something getting into bed with you, inappropriate touching and true fear. We did let some time pass after this incident to process what had happened and collect ourselves. And although we were truly rattled, we wanted to continue our investigation. So we headed back downstairs to base camp and grabbed our LiDAR enabled iPhone to conduct a ghost tube SLS session. We did this while walking through the inn towards the next area we wanted to investigate. All right, let's go. You can see me? Yep. Uh, if there's any spirits around and you want to make your presence known, now's the time to do so. We would love to see you. What does the bird look like? Do I even want to know? Ugh. No, you don't want to know. Oh, the feathers? Ugh. Is there anybody down here? Can you make your presence known? Ooh. Oh, it's just picking up the um, photo on the wall there. Oh, see so if you get a seven foot tall figure. Yeah, let's go into the um, barn. We haven't been in there yet. Sorry, we didn't intend to do to go and do this upstairs, but we will go up there in a minute. Wow. Oh. What? I'm getting someone sitting at the table here. If there's someone there, can you make a loud noise for us? Just knock on the table in front of you. It's so weird. It's not coming up now either. It wasn't seven foot though. It looked like a regular person. Oh, he just come up again. There's a man like, there was, I feel like this, now he's it's over moved, there. It's moved, yeah. It's moving. 
Should we follow? It's like it's moving across the room. Oh. Let me follow. I've just got chills now. Why did you bring me here? Might have to come back here later. Yeah, because we really want to go back to the bishop's room. Yeah, I just feel like we've got so much up there. Like, I don't want to... I want to go up there with this and see if we see anything. Put it in the fireplace. Are you in there? Actually, it is detecting something there. No. It is detecting something in the fireplace. Can you stand up? It's gone now. That's where I heard it. Could it be mapping a false positive on that flower thing though, maybe? Try and replicate. No. Something about that fireplace. It is getting a false positive with this Jesus statue. See? Well, it's going to map him as a body in it. Yeah. So that's a false positive, guys. So this is being used on an iPhone, so it is projecting an infrared grid to detect depth. And it's picked up the Jesus statue, but that's nothing to be worried about. It doesn't mean there's a ghost in Jesus. It just... There's a computer algorithm saying that is a human shaped body. Although we found the figure we had just documented in the fireplace interesting, we still had another area which we wanted to focus on this night, so we made our way up to the attic space to conduct an EVP session. But don't worry, we would return to the bishop's room once again later in the night. My name is Amy and I'm here tonight with Jared, and we call out to the spirits of the ancient Ram Inn. Is there anything you'd like to say to us? Can you tell us about this room and what it was used for? A lot of people hear a sound up here that sounds like furniture being dragged along the floor. Can you tell us what that is? Can you tell me what happened to me downstairs in the bishop's room? What moved that bed? What caused me to jump up? How many spirits reside within the inn? How many fingers am I holding up? My name is Amy and I'm here tonight with Jared and we call out to the spirits of the ancient Ram Inn. Is there anything you'd like to say to us? Can you tell us about this room and what it was used for? A lot of people hear a sound up here that sounds like furniture being dragged along the floor. Can you tell us what that is? Can you tell me what happened to me downstairs in the bishop's room? What moved that bed? What caused me to jump up? I just got cold chills. Are you breathing? I don't know what that is. It's like there's somebody, well, breathing, but almost trying to whisper something. I'm like... You said that you had I'm cold chills. I'm starting to get cold chills, and it's like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know, I can't do the sound, but let me just play it one more time. Kid's voice. You hear it? Yeah. What do you think it says? Because I reckon I can hear what it says. I can't play one I more time. I can't say your name. How 
Harmony? I hear, you hear me. Your name sounds like everything. It does. Else. But that was a kid's voice, though. There's definitely something there, yeah. Amy or not, that's a kid's voice. There's some voice coming through there. Though this voice was faint, it definitely sounded like a child to us, and even like it might be saying my name. Pairing this with the very strange orb that skits across my head during the session left me wondering if someone was trying to communicate with me directly. And because we had had some interesting moments with this EVP session, we decided to conduct another, this time in the next room over in the attic space. So again, my name is Amy and this is Jared. Can you share your name with us? Perhaps you can tell us your age? Can you tell us whereabouts in this house you are at the moment? So again, my name is Amy and this is Jared. Can you share your name with us? With the night wearing on and morning fast approaching, we decided to get some sleep, but thought we should leave a camera rolling to document what would happen when we fully let down our guard. Despite having some truly terrifying moments within the bishop's room, this is where we decided to sleep. Some may say this is a crazy move, yet we travelled here to document evidence and saw this as our best chance. Here is what occurred overnight in the bishop's room. Here, Jared's phone triggers a go to sleep reminder sound. This is extremely odd given that it was probably close to 5am at this point, and this is something Jared hasn't set up on his phone for the past two years. I asked him about this the following morning and he said his phone was not set to go off. I am aware this could have been Jared snorting in his sleep, but it did wake me up and freak me out at the time, as it also kind of sounds like a demon growling. Given that Jared did kick his legs around right before this occurred, I would have loved to know what he was dreaming about. Either way, we made it through the night, but the following morning I felt compelled to take one more look up the fireplace, and I found a number of glass jars filled with some kind of organic matter, stowed away in the exact place where a hoove allegedly linked to satanic rituals was once found. I decided to leave the jars untouched, 
just in case. Yet in the following two days after our visit, I was plagued with bad luck and nightmares. I had two accidents, one that saw me cut my leg open and another that saw a literal chunk cut out of my thumb, which took a very long time to heal. We are doing okay now, but things got a bit sketchy there in the ancient Ram Inn. But I do hope that you have been enjoying this year's October lineup of videos. And remember, you can still grab limited edition Halloween merch via the links in this video's description. But get ready, as next week we tackle a humongous location known as the Alcatraz of Ireland before heading to the most haunted castle in the world for two entire nights. This has been a wild ride and again like very cool to be back after so many years although tonight has been absolutely terrifying. The bishop's room and even now what the heck was that? The bishop's room what the heck uh, I also just filmed a, a bonus ghost tube session for my patrons and YouTube members in the um, the barn because we wanted to do a lot more work in different areas tonight. We just have sort of run out of time and we've just kind of chased the activity and what we've been getting in certain areas. And of course, there are so many areas of interest here. So I really hope that you guys have enjoyed the video. Again, it's a sentimental place for me. It is very cool to be back here after all these years and just reflect on like how far I've come and that I've been able to keep this going which is a dream of mine so thank you everyone for your your constant support but if you did like the video please remember to like comment share and subscribe because that really really helps me out if you want to do any more reading on this place head to amyscrypt.com you can also follow me on social media at amyscrypt on Facebook Twitter Instagram and TikTok and we post bonus content on my Patreon and my YouTube members are there linked below but thank you guys so much for watching until next time